welcome back to my channel. This is Mossy33 here, aka Crystal with the C. Back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, you just happen to click on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I try to put out one or two videos a week. I do sit downs, reviews, reactions, vlogs. So if any of that interests you, make sure you check out the prior videos on my channel. And if you see anything you like before you leave, make sure you subscribe. So today, you guys, I just wanted to try to film a few videos. It is Columbus Day weekend, and I just filmed a video of a one-year review update on my Chanel Jumbo. I don't know the order of these videos being uploaded, but I should be able to actually upload that one today. We'll see. But um, yeah, this one is going to be a review, kind of follow-up on the items that I purchased, um, got from Amazon before my trip to Italy. And I just want to kind of talk to you a little bit about if I would recommend them, how much I actually use them, or if I would not recommend them. So, um, or like maybe what I would change, something like that. So I just want to kind of film this video and just give you an update on the items that I did purchase specifically for this trip and yeah how they fared so let's go ahead and get started with that i have my list here from when i did my original video and i just want to kind of go in that order so the first item i want to talk about is the waypoint travel scarf i just actually washed this so it's maybe it has some lint on it but i think when i showed this to you guys it was still in the packaging so you couldn't actually see it but this is what the one that i got looks like it is in the color forest green. It did retail for like $29.95 on Amazon. Um, and let me just put it on really quickly. And then I just wanna kinda of show you what's special about this scarf. So you know like why I really wanted to get it. So if I just kinda of put it on over what I'm wearing. I don't actually wanna stand up because I'm wearing sweats. But as long as you guys don't judge me, we'll go ahead and do that. So, <laughs> but yeah, this is how far down it goes. So it does go like all the way down, like kind of past the waist. So it's like an infinity scarf. And what is so special about this particular scarf? Let me find it because, um, yeah. Oh my gosh. So what is, um, I'll go ahead and tell you and then I'll find it and I'll show you. So what is actually, there it is. What is special about this particular scarf and why I wanted it is um, this scarf, it's more than just an infinity scarf, but it actually has a built-in zipper. And I'll show you guys like right here um, within the scarf and you kind of see the little interior lining. It is like a pretty significant size pocket in the interior. But um, essentially, you can kind of put some of your valuables in here, which is what I did for at least two to three days of our trip to Italy. Um, I put like my passport in here, my wallet at times, as well as just whatever I really wanted close to my body. I kind of did like wore this um, the two days that we were in Rome, knowing that Rome was a bigger city. So um, wasn't certain about like pickpocketers and being in like crowds of people. So um, I did go ahead and like really use this and wear it. Even though at the time we went to Italy, it was a bit warmer. I still was able to implement this into like some of my outfits. Um, just because again, I really wanted to make sure I used it and um, I didn't want everything just to be in my bag. So yeah. Um, do I recommend this? So that is the big question. I would say that I highly recommend this. Um, because this has use like when you're traveling, like if you're a person, you don't like to carry handbags or even if you don't want to carry like a little fanny pack or um, even like a little belt or anything like that. Um, I think this was very good to get in and out of. I really love the use of this, the versatility of it. Um, if you just want to kind of wear it as a scarf, you can do that. It's very stylish. It's good material. But um, if you want to use it, like again, it's got the zipper. And um, it's not something that like is readily, like I don't think it's something that, um, it. well, I guess what I would like, how I would say is that it's not very common, I would say. Um, I didn't see a lot of people with these scarves, but I feel like even if you saw people with these scarves, you wouldn't necessarily know it until they unzipped it and pulled something out. So that's what I was, you know, I would definitely say about the scarf. I feel like it's pretty unique. And also it just is an extra, like an added layer of security. If you want your items like really close to you, you can be stylish. Even for me, I feel like this is a good item. Like if I'm doing like an event at church 
and I have to be to and fro, like we do a lot of fairs and stuff like that, especially in this season. Um, this is good to like carry like lotion, cause y'all know I always have to have lotion and like just some of my valuables with me without having to carry a handbag or worry about having a handbag with me. So if you're not a handbag girl, um, or even as a guy, like if you wanted to get one of these, I feel like definitely it's very useful. And especially, you know, if you're going and traveling in the cooler months, um, definitely I would highly, highly recommend this. I did find use for it, even though it was pretty warm while we were there. So definitely highly, highly recommend the Waypoint Travel Scarf or any travel scarf that you find, but I definitely recommend this one because I feel like it's really good quality. We'll be using again, would repurchase, absolutely love it. So that's the first item. Um, the second item is the New Dairy Battery Phone Case. This goes on your phone. I have an LG V30 phone. And um, this is like the little case that I bought. And it's a case when you put your phone inside, it charges your phone. It has like a little indicator on the back to, you know, kind of tell you where the battery is. And you can charge your phone with this on it. Um, would I recommend this? I'd say yes and no. Um, what I like about it is that it does, again, charge your phone. Like I didn't have any issues with it as far as like, you know, when my phone got low, like turning it on and charging my phone. Now, if you're, if you turn this on and you're using your phone as you're charging it, you're not gonna get that much charge. That's like the one thing I would say. Um, if you are charging your phone with this on your phone, it's gonna be a very slow process. Like this is more so, if you're gonna charge your phone with this on it, then you're gonna be charging your phone overnight when you're not using it. Otherwise, it's not gonna charge quickly. So that is like the biggest critique I would say of this, that like it definitely slows down your charging time when you have this on your phone. Um, but it is like just kind of like one of those added layers of security in addition to like having an external charger because I do have one of those as well. But um, just wanna kind of give you, yeah, like a heads up about this particular item. It's good as a last resort, but if you're depending on this to charge your phone and you're using your phone, I don't feel like that's a really good option because it does, um, it, it definitely will drain the power from your phone is, is essentially what I'm saying. So um, maybe an external charger might be best. I don't, I think it, it's okay, but I feel like the, you could pass on this particular item and just get like an external charger personally. Um, am I still gonna use it? Absolutely, because I have it, but that's my personal opinion. The next item I wanna talk about is um, the JM phone. This is the international charger. This one I think was like $19.95. I don't know if I said how much that um, new dairy charger was. That one was like $39.99 on Amazon. Um, this one again is the international, what is it? JM phone international plug. This one retail for $19.99 on Amazon. It's in this like little neon green and black color. Um, I actually really like this. I had an international charger before, but it had like two or three different plugs attached to it. And it was like in a case. When I went to London two years ago, I lost that, you know, amidst, um, you know, the travels and with the other people I was with. So I did end up purchasing this one. I feel like this one is more compact. This one is good for, I think at least six different countries. Actually, it might be more, but it has on here, like the top one is Europe. The second one is the UK. Third one is like Australia and the fourth one is US. So you could even use this like at home. Um, it does have like this little charger thing here and you just essentially like push them out, you know, whichever one you're trying to use, you push it out. Like this one that I just pushed out was for US. And then um, there's like a little button on the back. If you don't, you know, you're done with that, you just kind of push it in. Um, the one that we use was for um, EU, which is Europe right here. Oh, you guys can't really see it. But yeah, so I like really like this, really like that about this particular item. And then again, if I hit the little button right here, it just slides right back in. So um, I really like this because it's so versatile. It's, you know, for a lot of different countries. And it does have um, these little ports on the side here for your USB items. So I think this was a definitely an awesome buy. I was able to charge my stuff as well as my best friend's stuff. 
So um, definitely would highly recommend this one, especially if you are, you know, wanting to start your travel journey for international traveling. I just think it's good to spend a little bit more money and get like this one, which is not really that much money if you think about it, it's $20. So I think it's just good to go ahead and get one that's good for like most countries and even for your own country because again, you can use it at home, but you can also use it when you're going overseas. It's one item and it's pretty compact. So highly recommend this one. Definitely would um, purchase it again. But I don't have to since I own it. Wonderful. So the next item are the physics what's the name physics gear sport compression socks these got on amazon again these retail for $19.95 one pair of socks got them in the color pink and essentially um i saw this on a travel vlog someone recommended for like long flights like getting compression socks so your feet don't swell um i used these a little bit before the flight like i used these for my first few flights which weren't that long to get to where my friends were and then i did use these socks again when we did our overnight trip um, to milan and then subsequently to uh, rome so i actually really really like these and um more than just for the flight but they were just really comfortable overall as far as wearing and usage um i know people wear these to the gym i probably will do that as well um, so I probably would go ahead and get some more pairs, like more pairs of these socks. I just think that they were very comfortable, very useful. And, um, yeah, I didn't have any swelling of my feet or anything while I was there. You know, as you're getting older, you get some other additional issues. So I just wanted to be prepared. But, um, yeah, I didn't have any issues with swelling of my feet or anything like that. So, um, yeah, I highly recommend these. I probably will get some more of these just for daily use and even for the gym. So definitely would recommend these. So yep, absolutely. Highly recommend, we'll probably repurchase. Next item are the Jabra Elite 65T wireless headphones. Yes, it's a mouthful. So I have them in this silicone case, which is actually another item that I purchased um, or that you know was purchased. So. If I open this up, you will see the headphones right here. And that's like the little green indicator light. So I did use these before going on the trip because I did get them like a little bit, probably a few weeks before going. So I used them before. Definitely they were very useful during the trip, especially like on the airplane when we were going like the nine hour flight from Miami to Milan. Definitely was useful as far as um, watching things like, or not necessarily watching things, but like listening to music or listening to different things on my iPod touch. Also just to kind of block out some noise, even when I was reading. So I really use these. And even like when, um, you know, if I couldn't sleep and my best friend would sleep next to me, then um, I would put these in or put one of them in and just go ahead and like maybe watch some YouTube videos or, or something. So Definitely highly recommend these. I really, really love these. And um, yeah, like, yeah, I really actually love these. I may do like another review later on about how I find them. Usually when I use these, I just use the right one. I don't really use the left one. Like I don't really put both in at the same time. Just because like if I'm in a public area, I like to be able to hear so I don't put, yeah, I don't usually put both of them in at the same time. So I usually just use the right one. But yeah, anytime I put them in, they're not uncomfortable. They are, um, they definitely last a long time. They have a good charge when they're in the case. And when you take them out of the case, they last a long time. So highly, highly recommend these. Definitely will continue to use these. And I will definitely come back to you guys and let you know overall what I think about them if you're interested in that. The other item was this blue silicone case that's over it because it is like a black case. So definitely have used this little thing right here um, to like maybe attach it to the outside of like my square mini um, as far as my bags are concerned. But um, this one, you know, definitely fits in like pretty much all of my bags. Haven't had any issue with that. And this, you know, protective cover don't have any issue with like really like opening and closing with it being in this like little case, except when I'm, you know, filming and showing you guys. But yeah, it usually there's not really much of an issue really like this case. And it's been really good and durable as far as protecting. Yeah, just protecting 
the case and protecting the headphones overall. So I highly recommend those, would purchase those again. Next item after that is the passport case, which is right here. So I got this one from Amazon at retail for $9.99. Um, as far as the headphones, I don't remember how much those were. I think they were $138, those Jabra Elite 65T headphones. I think they were $138 at the time. And the case was $9.99 for the silicone case. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting the prices, but I'll definitely link that all that information below when I do upload this video, you guys. So I do know that this passport cover was $9.99. It says time to travel, and it's got all the different countries on there, including Rome, which is where we went, even though we didn't go to the Colosseum. We did pass by the Colosseum. So, um, and then it's got some other places on here that I've been, like a few I haven't been to. So I really did like this. I actually still have like my passport in here, as well as some receipts. So um, it's, again, a passport cover. Um, would I recommend this? I definitely recommend it just for the versatility and the use of it. Like I was able to put like my credit cards like right here that I primarily use. Passport here, was able to put like certain receipts and stuff here that I still have and I need to go through. So I think it's just useful to just keep all of your items together. Now, when you go through different checkpoints, at least this was my experience, like when we flew um, Air Italy, which was like one of the primary like flights, as well as um, when we were in the Milan and in the Rome airport, you can't just kind of like show your passport inside of the case. They want you to take your passport out of the case and just kind of like, you know, put, put it to the page and show them. So that's one of the issues. <laughs> Like as far as like, you know, having this in the case, you do have to take it out, um, especially as it related to the checkpoints in Milan and in Rome. You had to show your passport a lot of different times. So um, that's one of the annoying things. But overall, after you get out of the airport, you don't necessarily have to take your passport out of here. So it's good to just kind of keep everything together. I am really glad that I bought this and I would highly recommend it. So that's the other item. The next item I want to talk about are these packing cubes, which I wasn't really able to show you guys because by the time I did my video, all of my items were already packed. So these particular packing cubes, they're called the Yamu, um, let me see, what's the actual name? The Yamu packing cubes, and they came in the seven piece set. So I use like three pieces, I think of the seven pieces typically, or like not typically, but I think I used three of the seven pieces when I flew over. Um, and then I used a few other pieces as far as like dirty clothes and kind of rearranging things on the way back. So um, I would highly recommend packing cubes overall. Even if you choose not to get like the seven piece set, um, I feel like packing cubes were really useful to keep my things organized and to be able to pack more efficiently. So um, I did not know packing cubes would have that impact, but I definitely feel like they're a staple from now on wherever I go, whatever I do. If I'm gone for one day or if I'm gone for two weeks, I definitely will be bringing packing cubes. They just keep everything so much more organized and um, you know where all your things are and it's just easier to pack down and to consolidate. So I highly, highly recommend packing cubes. This was a very good sturdy set. It does have like the handle on the top where you can carry it. It's got a bag in here for your shoes. It's got two toiletry bags. One that's, you know, for the airport as far as your clear liquids. So I really, really love this particular set. I think it retailed for $20.99, $21 for seven pieces. I feel like you can't beat that, that you're gonna have in your collection for a long time. And yeah, like I got this blue one. It does come in different colors, but yeah, definitely would repurchase. And if something happens to these, I definitely will repurchase them. Definitely like a staple for my travel essentials moving forward. So the last item I want to show you guys, which is actually right here, and I did like leave it out here, but this item I did specifically buy for the trip and I did unbox this for you guys. This is my Chanel um, Paris Salzburg backpack in the calfskin leather in the color burgundy in the size large so that is a mouthful but yeah this is it right here i apologize that the light's kind of washing it out it's kind of that 5 30 almost six o'clock time period where you know the light is shifting because it's 
gonna get dark soon so um i do apologize for that you guys i probably will talk about this in another video maybe other videos to come but i did just want to mention it in this video because this is one item that i did specifically buy for the purpose of traveling to italy really wanted a backpack a luxury backpack a chanel backpack i did sell my um louis vuitton um what's that backpack called because now i'm thinking about this one and um oh my gosh I can't think of it. Yeah, it's a Louis Vuitton Clapton backpack. That's what it was. And the Damia being, I did sell that one and put that money toward this particular backpack. Did get this one from Fashion File. And um, yeah, I've had it for a little over a month now. And as far as the use for Italy, I absolutely loved, love, love this backpack. I found it was very impressive um, as far as the capacity and how everything fit even as far as wearing it on my back or even wearing it like top handle um it really was not that heavy um wearing it on the back or you know however i chose to wear it wasn't that heavy at all even though i would stuff this particular backpack um i also love this back pocket for like um putting sometimes i would put like my little passport cover like back here or even um, like my iPod touch, I would put it back here, but you just kind of see how items fit back here. And I just feel like this overall was the most practical bag to bring for a six day international trip to a place that I had never been. So um, as well as to because, because it's a place that I've never been and you're kind of feeling your way around, we did go to certain areas of Italy. I'm not going to speak about those particular areas now, but um, I'll probably talk about that in the vlog as well as in my review of Great Value Vacations that I'm going to do. But um, we did go to certain areas that looked a little sketchy. So I felt a lot more comfortable having this Chanel backpack because it, it's not, it doesn't scream logos. And um, it's a good quality backpack. It's very practical to use. Again, it, like I said, it doesn't scream logos. Unless you know Chanel, you wouldn't know that this was a luxury backpack. So um, I felt a lot more comfortable with this in those sketchy kind of areas than I would have like with my Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini backpack. Even though it's like a little smaller backpack. Um, still, this one I feel like was tried and true. It just did so well. Let me just kind of show you the interior. I have it stuffed right now though. But um yeah, this backpack was very impressive. Even my best friend told me, she was like, I, the Chanel is all right with me. So, so, and I just can't even believe I was thinking about like returning it when I first got it because it's so different than anything else I have in my collection. But I'm really glad I chose to keep it and I did not return it. And I feel like from now on, as far as international travel, yeah, this is the it bag. This is it right here for me. Um, just was a trooper, even got caught in rain, and there's like no visible wear on this bag. Being that it's calfskin, it is lighter than caviar, so um, I just love the look of it. I love this burgundy color. It's so beautiful for fall. It goes with pretty much what I'm wearing. It went with pretty much everything that I brought with me, so that is was an awesome thing as well. And like, man, just an awesome, awesome thing to buy, awesome bag. And I look forward to using it for more international trips and just around town. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. And that's kind of my review of everything. I'll link everything um, again that I discussed in this video below. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this. If you're planning any international trips, think about buying some of these items, especially the ones that I really highly recommend. Other ones, like I said, you could pass on. But overall, out of the items that I bought, I really feel like I didn't really waste my money on anything. Even the items I really wouldn't purchase again, I still don't feel like I really necessarily like wasted my money because I still use them. It's just, you know, for the next trip, I probably won't bring them or they're not anything I would say would be like a priority. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you share it with anyone else who likes these type of videos, who's thinking about international travel and kind of wants some things to keep in mind as far as, you know, buying or maybe purchasing beforehand. 
definitely share this video with them. Also comment below if there's anything that you guys would recommend. If you're like some professional travelers out there, make sure you do comment below. Let me know what are some things you would recommend for international travel that have been really like life-saving to you guys. Definitely comment that below. Also, make sure you do subscribe to the channel again, you guys. You do that by hitting the red button below and hitting the bell next to it so you're notified when I do upload future videos. And again, you guys, thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.